Hi, my name is Leslie Jones, and I could give a shit if I was Conan's friend. <laughs> like a flying fuck. <laughs> like two shits and a dog, son. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, finally, finally, uh, finally, first time. someone has spoken the truth. <laughs> finally, someone has <laughs> thrown off all pretense and said exactly how they felt. Like what? Exactly. What is this? Yeah. Like, like, exactly. Why is this a You've question? given voice to all of us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you just, you just. I don't know why people won't say it to your face. Come. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. You know what? You know what the thing is? After this, they will. Yeah. After this, everybody. I've given them the courage. I, no matter who I talk to, and even you know, like anybody, politicians are gonna be like, I don't give a flying fuck. Please, Mrs. Obama. No, why would I fucking care? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like, hell. <laughs> Please, Nobel Prize winner. <laughs> Malala. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Please, Malala. <laughs> Who would fucking give a flying dog fuck? Dog shit. Yeah. How are you? You look amazing. Thank you. I try. <laughs> I think it's a lot effortless. of working out. Oh, yeah. You know, a lot of that, a lot of, you know, washing my face, <laughs> brushing my teeth type thing. <laughs> Well, so great to have you here. Thank you. You're so absolutely good to hilarious. Be here. Uh, it's wonderful to have you here. And I know you have your own podcast now coming out soon, right? Yes, it's called, called The Fuckery. <laughs> okay, well, that, we're not going to have that kind of language here. Oh, wait, we already have. Oh, yes, I was going to say, well, yeah. then it's going to be a lot of bleeping going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Son. The Fuckery. That's the name the of the podcast. The Fuckery, yes. Tell it's, us what it's all about, the idea of this well, podcast. It's, it's really. Uh, it's everybody's always wanting to talk to me or hear my opinion about something or hear me just conversate about or want to know what I think about things. And uh, at one point I was going to maybe take over for Ellen mm -hmm. and I, it's just not a good idea. <laughs> just not a good idea to put me in the middle of the afternoon. Right. Just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm not always. They call in the army. You know what I'm saying? Like they call it national seriously guard. Seriously okay. national guard. Yeah, like yeah. straight guns to the head. And I was just like, it's too restrictive too. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't, you can't do shit in it. You know that. So I was like, I want to be somewhere where I can say exactly what I want to say how I want to say it and not give a shit. And they was like, podcasts. Yeah. So me and my friend Lenny, we always have the greatest conversations. And we're just, everybody that see us talk to, they was like, this has got to be on something. So we decided to do it. Well, you're podcast. so great at, I've, I've told you this before, I have friends of mine who uh, rave all the time about your commentary that you do, whether it's at the Olympics or whether you're watching, you know, the, the 2020 election is happening, right. someone's giving an interview and you're there uh, sort of riffing off of what's happening. And it can be so because funny it's, and, it's and so, so raw, but also really funny. Yeah. But I'm just saying what everybody's thinking. Yeah. I think I'm just brave enough to say what everyone is already actively thinking. Right. And and I think I say it in a way to where I try to, what I try to do is I try not to be offensive, but try to be honest. And the way to not be offensive is to be honest. Yeah. So, you know, when they were doing all the newscasts and doing the pandemic, I was like, I don't think these people realize what they room look like. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know this is seriousness, but I cannot take this bitch serious. <laughs> when she got a picture of a dog fucking a frog. <laughs> <laughs> what is the fuck is happening? But, like there was people in straight torture chambers yes. having zooms, like what and shit going on. <laughs> hey, bitch, this is a secret room in your house. I don't think this is supposed to be behind you. Uh, what the fuck? You know, it was great. Was you're absolutely right. When the pandemic first hit and everybody jumped on Zoom, nobody cleaned up. Their Nobody. background. Now, what happened, I want to say four or five months into the pandemic, suddenly everybody had the same books they had never read. Never. Behind them, a picture of a dog that wasn't theirs. Or Every flowers <laughs> or <laughs> ugly ass blinds. People decided to go ahead and let people know what they're like. Yeah. You know, like this, this one bitch had a, it was a whole mystery staircase and shit. Bitch, where are you? Are you in a dungeon, bitch? What? What the fuck? Do you need help? I mean, you need I mean, some 
of them is like, and some of them would just not give no effort and be in front of a white wall. And it's like, bitch, are you hostage? Do we need to send somebody in to get you? Jesus. One girl was in the in the break room. I was like, listen, goddamn it, get your shit together. Get a fucking office. After I talked about her, they got her an office. Because I was like, she's not supposed to be in front of the Nest Cafe talking about what the fuck Trump is. This is not, I can't take this, I can't take this bitch serious. There's a Nest Cafe behind her. I'll wait for George Clooney to walk in this motherfucker. Ha 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 ha!